Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about why I have so many WPL scale trucks. I've had some people ask me why I have so many. So I went through and compiled a little bit of a list here to tell you all why. But first off, I'd like to ask you, if you haven't yet, to subscribe to my channel and also if you like this please like please share please pass the word um, so anyhow the reason why I have so many WPLs is completely by accident and probably around 2018 2019 somewhere in that area of time <sighs> I bought my first WPL by mistake. So it's this one right here. And I saw it on Amazon or something that I'd affect. I can't remember. It may have been eBay even. I'm really not sure where where I saw it at. Anyhow, I think it was like $39.99 and I just clicked right away because I thought I can use that body. I thought it was one tenth scale. I didn't realize it was one sixteenth scale. So anyhow, I picked it up and it came and I thought, wow, this ain't the right size. Hmm. So I started checking it out and I got onto YouTube and I seen a few people had been messing with them and uh, modifying them and I thought, eh, you know what, this thing looks pretty cool. But back at that point in time, uh, you, you didn't have the WPL store like you have now and the ability to get the better parts. Uh, a lot of the aftermarket parts out there are just, I don't, I'm sorry, some of it's just garbage. And uh, But that's what I had to start out with. And I worked and fiddled around and I got all these parts you know together that would work uh, and and i had to grind and file and oh you name it it was just miserable but i got it working but i gotta say this truck here this the original one i bought it's still running plastic links which are original to the truck now it does have metal axles and it has the plastic covers on the axles because some of them I like to look a little more realistic and not have that red cover on there. But yeah, this truck's still kicking. Got a two speed in it, runs 3S with a Hobby Wing 1625 ESC, and it's been in there since 2019. I'm gonna say it's been a neat little truck. Can't remember where I got these bumpers, I think it was our on uh, rccrawler.com there was a guy that was making these and they're pretty cool not too bad but yeah that's the reason right here this is the, this got it all started and I have I have Traxxas I got TRX4s I got a couple of those I got the TRX4Ms I probably I don't know I got four or five of those and uh I have Axial XCX 10s. I have RC four wheel drive TF 2s. I got Elements. I even got an HPI uh, Venture Scale Builders Kit. I have one of those. I have, um, I got a lot of stuff, but by far, the brand that I have the most of is WPL. It's crazy, but I do. Anyhow, I compiled a little bit of a list here about the reasons why I have so many. Now, number one, they're cheap. They're cheap. They're a lot of fun. Number two, if you're new to RC and scale RC crawling in general and don't really know you know, if you want to buy a kit, 
you want to buy an RTR. I want to tell you what, if you want to get into the hobby and enjoy it, you're going to find out one way or another. If you buy a WPL kit that has the metal axles and the good, the good parts, assemble one of those kits. Okay. Yeah. You're going to, you're going to, uh, you're going to fiddle around a bit to get it together to work right. But I'm going to tell you what, in the long run, you're going to really enjoy it and you're going to learn a lot. And you turn around and you go buy, say, uh, a Vanquish or an Axial SCX-10 builder's kit or an RC four-wheel drive uh, TF2 kit. Those kits will go together a lot easier after you've dealt with a WPL. These are great, but they're fiddly to get right. There's a few things on it that I do different than they come as a kit. Uh, I think that, I think it works better for me. I, that's all I, you know, just works better for me. All right. Number three reason why I like these. For the price, you can't beat the detail in the bodies. You just can't beat the detail. They have interiors, number four. Parts are cheap. Customer service has been great. Now, back in 2018 when I bought mine, uh, I don't even remember where I bought it. Uh, there was no such thing as customer service back then. Parts, they were hard to come by. Pretty much you had, um, you had to buy another truck to get something that you needed, basically. Nowadays, they have the full store and just about everything you need is on the store as replacement parts, upgrade parts. Um, the customer service, I haven't really had too many issues, to be honest with you. Um, I think the last issue I had was with my, uh, this here, my little WPL Mini. When I got it, the, uh, the battery door here, I can't even get it off. Anyhow, yeah, you know, when I got it, the, the this little tab right here was broken off, and it wouldn't 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 lock in place. So I emailed them, and they wanted me to send them a picture of the part. And so I did that, and a couple of weeks later, I had a brand new one here, and that's the only issue I've had with them. Um, I've contacted customer service for different uh, reasons. In the last couple of years, just general questions, and they've always gotten back to me with an answer quickly. Um, so yeah, their customer service is is really good nowadays, anyhow. And so I'm going to go on to number seven now on my list. Shipping is great from them. It takes a little bit. It's usually around two weeks to get what you want from China. But it's a lot quicker than Banggood, AliExpress. And uh, how it's packaged, it, it comes in a really thick cardboard box. There's never any damage to anything I've gotten from them. No, I've gotten a couple, a couple rigs from uh, Banggood and AliExpress. They come in the package, basically that they're displayed in, and they ship it in that package. And there's been times when I've gotten stuff that's been smashed, just smashed. And then and, now they're good about replacing it, but then you got to wait another month to get it. Where you order from WPL to order a WPL truck or parts, it comes in eh, roughly two weeks in a super strong box. It doesn't get smashed in the shipping process. So that's another great thing. I mentioned this, I think, in number 
Yeah, it's number two. These things are great for beginners. And it just, I'm going to say it again. They're great. Number nine, a big thing that I've learned and I like about WPLs is parts interchange. Takes a little bit of takes a little bit of ingenuity, but parts interchange. So here's my uh, here's my WPL C54 here. All right, I put the single speed transmission out of the C34 in this, and how I did it was a little bit different than other people have done it. Those little tabs, I cut them off, and I believe it's yeah, on this end. I cut the tabs off on this end. And I used a long drive shaft and a short drive shaft. And it worked great. Here's, I've seen people do other ways. This is how I've done it. And it works great. Now, here's another instance of interchangeability. This is a new C74 Jimny that I'm working on right now. I wanted to have a video about this today. But I didn't quite get there. But I have the two speed in this. And I have it four length. So, yeah. It came with the uh, counter rotating gearbox with the 370 motor i like the two speed better so yeah but it bolts right in mounting holes are there all you have to do is and there's three different i've noticed another thing they did with this is a great there's three different um locations here so you can move this up or down well this will fit in the body all the way up so you have Great ground clearance with this transmission in there. It's uh, it's really good ground clearance. I think it's I think it's about the same as the factory transmission in it. If you can see, but yeah, it tucks. It tucks up in there nicely. Whereas the two-speed transmission, in we'll say a um. WPL C24 or C14. We'll grab the C14 here. I have a two-speed transmission in this. And, uh, yeah, you can see it uh, It hangs down pretty good. Now, I've seen guys take and uh, cut the interior out and raise up the, raise up the transmission. Now, that's a good, that's great. You know, um, I'm a scale guy. I like having my interior. So, I do more trail running and less competition type rock crawling than I do. Uh, I do more trail running with these trucks. So my biggest goal is to have these trucks looking realistic when they're running, you know, when, when you're watching them drive, I like to see them look realistic. So I have nothing against, um, you know, you're going to cut your interior out. And, hey, that's great. That's not for me. I like uh, I like having my interior. I like the scale looks. So, we're on to, uh, let's see. These things are easy to customize if you're handy. And that's just like I just talked about with the uh, C54 here. And having the single speed transmission in it. I gained so much ground clearance with this single speed transmission in this truck. I mean, I could have put the two speed in it, but it would have been the same thing as because it has the same chassis. Because this is the older C54 and has the regular C24 chassis in it. So if I had to put the two speed in this truck, it would have been dropped down low belly like these three are over here. Another, there's another C14 that I have over here, and they all have they all have the two-speed transmission, and, and you know, you can see it's uh it's low, you know, but it's still they still do very well. I can't complain about them at all. I like the two-speed transmissions. They have big plastic gears in them, but I haven't had an issue with any one of them yet. 
I think I have probably eight to ten um, two-speed transmissions in the package yet. Four different projects yet. A couple of them are going to go in the MN trucks. Uh, the older uh, Land Rover D90 style. That's where those are going. And I have, I think... Three more C34s to put together. And I'm going to, one of those C34s, I just ordered parts last night. You can't get the uh, C44 truck anymore, but I ordered the parts to make another truck out of a, the other uh, C34 I have. So that'll give me two, two trucks and three of the uh, FJ Land Cruisers full bodies so I have three more of those to build and uh, yeah I have these things I love these things I don't know what it is about these little trucks I mean don't get me wrong I love the scale um, the really scaleness to the RC four wheel drive TF2s they're great I don't know what it is about these little ones though I just love them I mean I think it's I think the biggest thing with these little ones is they're kind of like underdogs. You take them out of the package and especially when I got that first one right there, that gray one, it used to be red. Oh my god, it was horrible. Electronics were terrible. It was non-proportional steering. Oh my god, it was it was just terrible. Plastic transmission gears that chewed up in no time. Oh They've come a long way. I mean, they've really come a long way with these things. But, yeah, it all started out. Uh, ordered it by accident. Thought it was a one-tenth scale, and I was going to use the body for something. Well, here we are now. So, yeah. And the last reason I have that uh, seems to be the con or the pros of these trucks is w WPL seems to listen to their customers they seem to uh, pay attention to what the customers want what they're saying I've seen that over the years with them so right now I'm gonna go over the cons why I don't like you know what I don't like about these WPLs the five millimeter hex on the wheels gone it limits the wheel and tire choices dramatically now there's been some people that have come along and they've made uh, I don't have a, I don't have a 3D printer yet, but there's been people that have come along and they've sold uh, they've sold 3D printed wheels on eBay and I have quite a few sets of them. There's a set on this with this truck here and they're, they're pretty nice and I have them with the uh, soft kit tires and they work okay. I like them. I mean with this truck here, I mean this. I bought the five millimeter to seven millimeter adapters and put these Endura um, swamp claws on. 1.3 swamp claws, tire and wheel package. Oh, that truck just looks. That truck just looks sick. I mean, it's it looks great. Well, that's one of the biggest complaints I have about the UP or UPL WPL trucks is the five millimeter hex. I mean, they either need to. They need to change it to seven millimeter hex and just be done with it. In my choice, or in my uh, my opinion. And another thing that I think they need to do is come up with some uh, some better wheels. Everybody, everybody and their brother, you know, has um, better wheels for RTRs than they do. So yeah, they need to. They need to step it up in the wheel department. I mean, even if they're plastic bead locks, I mean, you know, come on here. Next thing that's kind of a con with these are uh, the friction shocks. You can get them to work okay. You cut these, snip a little bit off the spring and, and fill them up with uh, some uh, some grease of some sort. I use the uh, blue uh, marine grease in mine, and, and they, it does help a lot. It slows the motion down of them and, and makes them a little more realistic looking.
But we now have oil filled shocks on an SCX24. So I can see probably uh, not coming on a ready to run truck from WPL because the price points are cheap. But I think it should be a um, upgrade available in the store, an oil filled chalk, in my opinion. Now, the third con that I have for the WPLs is there's a limited aftermarket support for these trucks. And what there is usually isn't that great, but it is getting better. But it's still not up to par with other brands of RC aftermarket goodies next con is the readier to runs still aren't as good as others but they're way better than they were in the earlier days i, I gotta give them that and another thing that i think it's this is another con that would be um a huge benefit as an upgrade that they could put in their store is um, metal gears for the RTR transmissions. I'm talking for like the ones that have the 180 motors in them and the plastic gears. Then you really need to up the game with that and uh, offer replacement metal gears for those. That would be that would make a lot of trucks. Those transmissions sat really high up in the chassis so that would give great ground clearance and more durability for a, an rtr in my opinion but yeah that's uh that's my reason that's why i have so many uh wpls um the weather hasn't been cooperating with me and my work schedule they're not syncing up i want to get the running videos of the uh mn82 modified and the mn82 stock and i also want to get a video up the new uh tws cj7 that i got and hopefully hopefully this weekend i'm going to get videos of this out running since it's already the only thing i have left to do is this uh Jimny Samurai is uh, wired up. I need to put the ESC in it and um, put the receiver in it, bind everything up, get everything synced up, and uh, it's ready to roll. I do have I do have the longer uh, drive shafts on the way for this, but these will work for now. They're not going to fall off. But yeah, if you want to if you want to four link your samurai, I'm going to put a video out on how to do that and give you the uh, link links you're going to need to do that and the parts you're going to need to get it done. Really wasn't that hard of a job. I thought it'd be a little bit more harder, but uh, it really wasn't that hard. It took a little it took a little um, trial and error, but uh, I got it. But yeah, that's coming up too. I'm going to. Uh, Give everybody some uh, dimensions for the lengths of the links. And uh, that'll be coming up oh, probably in about two weeks. Because i got to get caught up on these videos of uh, running video that I've been wanting to do. But the weather hasn't cooperated with me. So, yeah, that's what's coming up. And uh, I'm glad you all... Um, Check me out. Uh, like I said in the beginning, please subscribe. Please like, share, comment. It helps me grow. Um, like I said, I have a lot of stuff coming. And uh, I hope you all can watch. Hey, you all have a good day, and I'll see you next time.